Ever thought that shining a red light on your head could boost your brain health? It might sound futuristic, but red light therapy is gaining traction for its potential cognitive benefits. And today I'll break down the science, share specific advantages for your brain and introduce you to the device I personally use. Now, do you often experience brain fog, struggle with focus or feel your mental clarity isn't what it used to be? What if a simple non-invasive therapy could enhance your cognitive function and support long-term brain health? I've been there too. You know, balancing work, family and personal health can take a toll on your mental sharpness. In my quest for effective solutions, I discovered red light therapy, a method backed by science that has helped me improve my mental focus and mental clarity and just overall boost my overall cognitive performance. Now, keep in mind that I'm already doing a lot of things right. Sleep, exercise, diet, you know, all of that is dialed in, but there's always room for improvement. And red light therapy has been one of those tools that has helped me. Now, red light therapy or photobiomodulation involves exposing the brain to specific wavelengths of red and near infrared light. This process enhances mitochondrial function, the powerhouse of our cells, leading to increased ATP production, reduced oxidative stress and improved cerebral blood flow. The result, enhanced mental clarity, better mood and a reduction in cognitive decline. So let's dive into the benefits, the specific benefits of red light therapy for brain health, supported by the latest scientific research. Number one, red light therapy can improve mental clarity and reduce brain fog. And it does so by increasing cerebral blood flow through the production of nitric oxide, a molecule that dilates blood vessels. And with better circulation, the brain receives more oxygen and nutrients supporting attention and focus while reducing brain fog. It's a very similar principle to using red light therapy if you have an injured shoulder or you know bad knee or whatever, increasing blood flow is at the base of all of the benefits. The more blood flows, the more oxygen, the more nutrients you get and the better the cells can operate and the more energy in the form of ATP they produce. Speaking of, number two, benefit number two is enhanced cognitive performance. By boosting ATP production, ATP is the, the energy currency of cells and stimulating the growth of new mitochondria. Red light therapy enhances cellular metabolism, leading to improved cognitive functions, such as memory formation and neurotransmitter release. Number three, elevated mood and reduced anxiety. Studies have shown that red light therapy can naturally enhance mood by stimulating the production of serotonin, a neurotransmitter essential for regulating mood. And increased serotonin levels are associated with reduced anxiety and improved well-being. Number four, long-term brain health. That's incredibly important and one of the reasons why I leverage red light therapy as part of my wellness routine. A red light therapy reduces oxidative stress by boosting natural antioxidant enzymes, protecting brain cells from damage and supporting long-term brain health. And this is particularly relevant for combating age-related cognitive decline and supporting brain health in conditions like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. Now, red light therapy is not a magic pill that mitigates all of your poor lifestyle choices you might be making, but everything else being equal, red light therapy has been shown to deliver those benefits. Now, benefit number five, it supports recovery from brain injuries. In the unfortunate event that you suffer brain injury, red light therapy has been shown to promote neurogenesis, the growth of new neurons and protects existing neurons by stimulating brain derived neurotropic factor, also known as BDNF. This process helps repair brain damage from injuries such as concussions and supports cognitive function over time. So if you're playing football, American football, maybe red light therapy should be part of your recovery arsenal. Number six, reduced risk of chronic brain conditions. Again, by helping to balance inflammation in the brain, red light therapy reduces harmful effects that can lead to diseases like Alzheimer's. It modulates the body's inflammatory response by reducing pro-inflammatory cytokines and boosting anti-inflammatory cytokines at the same time, supporting brain health and preventing chronic conditions. And now that's a lot of science, but the takeaway is simple. Red light therapy works on a cellular level to energize your brain, reduce inflammation and support long-term brain health. And it's not just me saying that, you know, athletes, biohackers, and even leading neurologists are embracing it. And if you want to learn more about the specific scientific evidence behind those claims, check out my blog post. I'm going to link it down below that goes into all of those details with links to specific studies that you can read to learn even more. So how do I use it? Well, my go-to device is the Mido Mind. There are many devices out there. That's just the one that I happen to have access to and the ones I've used for a while. I know it looks super cool. It looks especially great. It works especially great if you're trying to grow your hair and you're right at that stage where the hair looks 
just long enough to look crappy, but not long enough to, you know, that I can style it properly. So in those cases, the helmet works great and might look even better than uh, without the helmet. Um, but that's the device that I've been using. Uh, it's designed specifically for cognitive health. There are different versions of this of this helmet. This is the, I guess, the, the top of the line kind of uh, device specifically engineered to, impo uh, to improve brain health. And it uses um, wavelengths in the 810 nanometer uh, frequency or wavelength, I should say, that frequency, uh, which penetrates deeply into the brain. And I usually use it for five to 15 minutes a day while working on the computer, like for example, recording this video here, you can see it, it's on. I mean, you can only see the red light indicators. Most of the magic happens with uh, near infrared light, which is invisible, you're not gonna see that. And over the past few months, I've noticed improvements in my focus, memory recall, and, and even my mood. You know, obviously consistency is key as with many non-pharmaceutical approaches to improving health and well-being. So I use this several times a week, just while working on the computer, doesn't really bother me. Just turn it on as a controller next to it. Um, and it's portable. I could take it with me if I want it. I don't do that. I just use it in the office, but the results, you know, speak for themselves. Clinical studies have shown uh, that red light therapy can improve cognitive function in individuals with traumatic brain injuries and may offer even neuroprotective benefits in conditions like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. And again, those are diseases, metabolic diseases, lifestyle diseases that can be largely prevented by making the appropriate lifestyle choices before you get to disease. But once you have it, you know, in addition to making those lifestyle choices, Technologies like red light therapy can really help help you with your odds and uh, hopefully speed up the recovery process. I have personally experienced enhanced focus and mental clarity since incorporating red light therapy into my routine, especially you know with the helmet. But I've noticed really improvements with red light therapy across the board for joint injuries, well, you know soreness, post workout recovery, uh, preparing for workouts. Red light therapy has so many beneficial use cases and. The mind is just the latest uh, frontier of red light therapy and there is a lot we don't know yet, but what we know is incredibly promising. So I encourage you, give this a thought, maybe give it a try. You know, if you're if you're looking for sharpening your focus, protecting your brain or recovering from mental fatigue, give red light therapy a try and let me know how, how, you, how you like it, how it's been working for you. For me, it's become a daily ritual and one that I genuinely look forward to. Now, if this video resonates with you, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more health tips and share your thoughts in the comments. I reply to reply to all of the comments, at least the ones that weren't a reply. So let me know any questions, anything that pops up uh, that comes into your mind, put it in a comment and I'll respond typically once a week. And, uh, you know, share, subscribe, stick around and I hope I'll see you in the next video.